Hi, it's Dr. Jose Barrera here at Rejuven de Mitzpa. I'm here with Dr. Lujan Hi. and Dana from SkinCeuticals and Stephanie from SkinCeuticals. And we are San Antonio's SkinCeuticals flagship, which we're super excited to be. And uh, so I, we just want to show you a little bit about what we do here. And what better way to do that than to have a treatment done on myself. By Dr. Luhan. So uh, I'm going to get a glycolic peel, 20%, and um, we're just going to let you experience the whole uh, spa here, okay? So come on in awesome. and let me show you what we're going to do here. All right, Dr. Okay. Luhan, I'm all yours. All right, we've yeah. already prepped the skin for this peel, so we've already washed his face with a gentle cleanser by SkinCeuticals, and we've also put on some toner, and then we've um, made sure the skin is very dry by doing uh, acetone over the whole face. And so now it's ready for the peel. We're gonna protect some sensitive parts here by putting on our Hydra Balm. We love this product. We use this for pretty much every surgical patient um, after a treatment. It's a occlusive ointment. And in this case, we're going to protect the corners of his eyes here. Nice thin layer, inner corners of your eyes. All right, we're gonna do these creases in the nose right here. We don't want product accumulating in there as we're doing the peel. And then lastly, we're gonna do the lips here. Protected. We're going to get our peel ready. And again, we're doing the micro peel 20, 20% 20 glycolic acid. Now I have some pigmentary problems just because I ride bikes and swim a lot outdoors. Love to run, so I'm very, very active. But you can enjoy life, but you still have to protect your skin. So I, I love using the SkinCeutical Sunblock. Um, I am a, a proponent of CE Ferulic uh, for antioxidant care. And then I love using the uh, AGE Interrupter when I get really dry in the winter. And uh, otherwise, post-treatment, I'm gonna use a little epidermal repair mm -hmm. so I can heal quickly. Nice. So we have an entire nice regimen for you. What's your favorite sunscreen, Dr. B? You know, I, I go between the Marathon Tested um, sun, Sunblock that SkinCeuticals makes. Yeah. I really like that. And I also like a little bit of the Sheer uh, Fusion. And the reason why is it just, I like a little Sheer on the face just to hide a couple of the little blemishes I have. Nice. Yeah. Sunblock is essential every day. All right, we're gonna apply the peel now. I'm gonna apply this quickly, starting right here at the top of the forehead. I'm gonna start feeling that work, Dr. Barrera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Getting some nice tingles. Now for men, peels are uh, especially uh, necessary because men spend quite a bit of time outdoors uh, being active, but then we do very little for skincare. Mm -hmm. And so I think I call it removing summer sun. And so it's important to get peels to remove some of your summer sun. Yeah, hold your breath for a minute here. All right, perfect. Peel it on, you can breathe. I'm gonna leave this on for two minutes because Dr. Barrera shaved this morning and he already self-dermaplaned essentially. So we don't wanna leave it on too long. So Dr. Wuhan, what's dermaplaning? Dermaplaning is we take a scalpel actually and we carefully um, take off that dead skin, upper layer of your skin, and uh, those really fine hairs on your face. So you end up with a really, really smooth skin, and it better allows the, the uh, peel to penetrate your skin and work more effectively, and it also feels really good. <laughs> the other thing that's the added bonus for you too, Dr. Rara, and your patients is after the dermal planning, all of their regular skincare products yeah. past the peel, also penetrate really level 
into the skin. Uh, you get the best absorption and it just imparts a great glow. And that can be done as a standalone service or in addition to the chemical peels here at Rejuve MD. Mm -hmm. So Dana, I got a question for you. So I'm doing a 20% glycolic peel. You also have a glycolic tent, a glycolic tent overnight, yes. which is a over-the-counter or something you can buy and do yourself. Is that like a 10% glycolic you're doing yourself at night? That is exactly what it is. And it's a true 10% uh, partner. Tom, we're going to neutralize this now. You're going to heal from a little, you're sizzling noise actually. <laughs> um, so what I we're neutralizing you, Dr. Barrera, yes, the glycolic 10 renew overnight is a the perfect product to use as a companion to your chemical peel, particularly after, because it's like maintaining the results that we're achieving today. And then it's a, a daily, regular evening light exfoliation thing for you. It truly imparts a beautiful glow to the skin and it can be used on the alternate evenings from your retinol too. So between a uh, your chemical peels, your glycolic tin renew overnight. You could also like throw in your glycolic cleanser. Those are all great ways to keep your skin looking its brightest and most efficiently exfoliated on the regular. And when would you recommend starting a glycolic tin after a chemical peel? So anytime that we've done a chemical peel, anything that has like a little bit more um, natural exfoliation properties, we'd like to give a little holiday for it. So just like your retinol that we've asked you to abstain from for the week before and the week post, we do we would do the same thing with your glycolic tan. But then after that week that um, after this week, you can go ahead and resume doing your glycolic tan renew overnight. And it does have also a little bit of moisturizing properties that some people feel is enough that they don't need any additional moisture on top. But you know we also do like to put triple lipid following that too. Anything that's uh, exfoliating the skin, the triple lipid Restore 242 is a great moisture barrier repair product to do in addition. And as you just said earlier, as we get a little older, <laughs> we like the triple lipid Restore 242 because it's the perfect uh, cholesterol dominant aging moisturizer in the portfolio. Do you have any areas that are still tingling? Uh, it's mostly neutral. It's at the upper lip a little bit. Upper lip? Yeah. And so this is what this peel, one of the things that Dr. Luhan's doing is she's neutralizing it, which is a process that we have to do in office. So that's why she's asking uh, Dr. Barrera so many questions about how his skin is feeling specifically during this, these steps. Give that a second. See if there's any other areas. So Dr. Luhan, how, how do chemical peels complement laser resurfacing? So, both chemical peels and lasers are going to resurface your skin. It's just a different kind of way of doing it. Different lasers go to different depths and treat different uh, problem areas, and so do chemical peels. And they kind of go hand in hand. The chemical peels, most of the time, you can do more often, and they're going to give you more of that glow and a quicker turnaround time, and it's just more of a spa procedure. It just feels good. <laughs> and it's a, kind of a little treat yourself moment here. Um, but we can definitely go back and forth with lasers and chemical peels, depending on your problem area and what type of treatment you're looking for and what event you have coming up or whatnot. Any other tingling areas? Yeah, it's mostly neutralized. Yeah, okay, good. the water. Okay, nice rinse. Thank you. And what kind of lasers do we have here at Richard and D. Med Spa? So we have the Resurfix, the Luminous M22 laser that has uh, Resurfix treatment, IPL, NDAG, and we also have a CO2 ablative laser um, to treat pretty much any type of problem area you have. We use these lasers both in the office, under local, and if you like, for the CO2, we'll even uh, let you take a little nap under anesthesia. Um, we have our own facility here and we can usually do those procedures while you're asleep and comfortable to get you the result you're looking for. How's that feel? Any more tingles? Things cooled yeah, down? Things have cooled down, yeah. Okay. All right. So now Dr. Burr, we're 
just going to give you some little soothing post procedure. We're going to um, apply some of the phytocorrective gel that you love for immediate soothing and calming. Mm -hmm. That also helps with a little bit of immediate redness. And then uh, we're mixing that with the epidermal repair, which is great for post procedure. We love yeah. it. For our lasers too. Yes, definitely for the lasers too. Pull you down with this phytocorrective gel, give you some moisture with the epidermal repair. And then of course we're going to apply some sunscreen because you always need to apply sunscreen. He's looking pretty glowy from the camera. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see the reflection of light since we've started this. Mm -hmm. I can tell you from behind here. He's looking pretty comfortable, too. <laughs> I, I want to get on the bed next. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice, nice, nice feel. Nice spa treatment. Dana, how many chemical peels do you recommend in a series? So typically, uh, it's going to depend upon which uh, acid regimen we decide to go with. So first, um, you know, minimally, you're going to do three if it's a, our deeper chemical peels. Uh, a series of four to six as we work our way through uh, some of the lighter chemical peels. And that's where it's always important for the patient to come in for us to do that first initial assessment chemical peel, which is our lightest one, our micro peel sensitive skin. It's a beautiful lactic peel, great for the special events like Dr. Lujan was saying, but it also gives uh, us a chance and you a chance to like really look at that patient's skin and determine what uh, concerns we can address and which avenue of chemical pills to try first. We don't have to do the same chemical pill solution each time. Sometimes it's a journey thing for them. So, uh, and we also like to say for those deeper ones, we want them to earn that pill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Make sure that they're very compliant. But you've got actually over 10 different chemical pill solutions that you have to offer here. So tell me about the different uh, chemical peels where, where someone would start if they're, if they're kind of darker skin like me and versus someone who's uh, maybe a Fitzpatrick one or two that's lighter. Yeah, very good question because not all chemical peels are suitable for every skin tone and Fitzpatrick skin type. So um, for uh, anyone that's on the lighter Fitzpatrick scale, such as Dr. Lujan and myself, um, we can do the full gamut, but Dr. Barrera, for you, because you do have a little bit more pigmentation, um, our TCA peels are not ideal for you, uh, so we probably wouldn't do that one, just on those darker skin types and everything, but we have other solutions, so you might do like a longer series of peels uh, to get that degree of correction that might be done a little bit faster for a lighter skin tone. It just really de depends, but that's also why it's most important you can't just like book and call in and say, I want X peel. We, it has to be assessed and everything here in the office to make sure that you are the correct candidate for it. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? How are you feeling? Yeah, you look great. Thank you, guys. You look so glowy. <laughs> see you all next time. <laughs>